Hey guys, Patrick again from Rocky Mountain Style. Welcome back. I've been meaning to do another boot slash shoe update. I have been planning on doing one of these every couple of months uh, and I haven't done one in several months. So here we are. And of course, with it being uh, summertime, I'm actually wearing my boots a lot less often. Um, as you can see, only two here in the update uh, and I'm wearing a lot more shoes, right? So I'm not gonna update you on sneakers. That's, I don't know, that's pretty boring. So three pairs of loafers, uh, some Grant Stones, some Astro Flexes, uh, Warfield and Grand wingtips, of course, the Red Wing 1907s, and the Thursday Vanguard in Color 8 Chrome XL. So uh, I guess we'll start here. So these, of course, are the uh, Warfield and Grand Rosin wingtip, R-O-S-S-E-N, Rosen Rosin. Uh, I've been wearing these to the office a lot. I like how lightweight they are. These are Blake Stitch construction, leather sole, Full grain Italian leather upper, burnished, of course. Um, I think because of that burnishing, I haven't noticed any patinaing or anything like that. You know, maybe I just haven't worn them enough, but uh, they still look the same as the day I got them. Um, the creasing isn't bad at all. Uh, the wear on the sole, as you can see, you know, walking in and out of work, that's, you know, that's what a leather sole is going to end up looking like. But uh, I think they're holding up well. They're very comfortable. I like how lightweight they are. You know, Blake Stitched, uh, generally speaking, is going to be a bit more lightweight, a bit more flexible than uh, a Goodyear Welt. So, yeah, I like these, and I'm going to continue wearing them. So we'll get those out of the way. Uh, we'll go with these next. So these are a more recent pickup uh, that I got in from Huckberry. Um, I shot a short on these or an unboxing uh, not too long ago. These are the Astroflex Patnoflex Travel Loafer. Uh, weird name for a good shoe. Made in Italy, as you can see there. You've got a little bit of this uh, sort of rubberish sole or um, heel lift, whatever that's called. Uh, some leather stacking there and, of course, the leather sole. You can see the wear there. I've worn these quite a bit as well. I wore these, uh, as the name suggests, travel. I wore these on a recent trip that my wife and I took to Las Vegas. Uh, we flew out of DIA, which I don't know if uh, anyone follows the traveling industry. DIA has had lots of delays and lots of issues lately, so... I wore these for a pretty long day on that travel day um, from Colorado Springs to Denver at the airport and then into Las Vegas and around that evening. Uh, they're very comfortable. Um, I wore them a lot more that weekend. And as you can see, it's got, it's got some nice character showing up already there with where the, the creasing happens. But uh, the only issue I've had is a slight bit of rubbing where my pinky touches, pinky toe, which is like right there on the inside. So basically what I did is I just got some, you know, leather conditioner and put it on there and made sure that spot is as soft as it can be. And then my pinky got a little bit of callusing and it's fine. So yeah, so these are great, fantastic shoes, guys. If you're, if you like this style, I really would highly recommend picking some of these up because I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of these. Uh, speaking of being a huge fan of things, Grant Stone. So these are the Grant Stone travel loafer, traveler loafer. Yeah. So these of course are the same shoe, just different colors. Uh, Coral suede, storm suede. Uh, I picked those up on a sale, which was just a regular sale. Um, that was my first loafer. Picked these up as B grades. Um, and I did a video on why they were B grades. And it appears to be just because of this. Um, like, not a big deal at all and got over $100 off these, which is pretty awesome. Um, I've worn these a lot. I wore these for a really long day when we were in Las Vegas, we were shopping, we were in the casinos, we were out to dinner, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they stayed very comfortable the entire day. Um, one note, however, you can see it here. So this one, you can see there, that is, uh, that's blood actually. Um, so it rubbed me a little bit on that really long day. I mean, I had them on my foot for probably 14 hours and walked at least seven or eight miles in a pair of shoes that was only moderately broken in. So like, what do you expect, right? you know, um, but that was it. And it wasn't, you know, down on my toe or it wasn't on the ball of my foot or anything. It was just up here on the side, close to my ankle. So it really didn't even hurt that bad. So I didn't really care. But, um, as you can see, like, I mean, they look brand new. There's like no creasing at all. And that, that was there again, that could have been why they were B grades as well, but, um, immensely a big fan of these. And again, the gray ones, I've worn these quite a bit as well. There is a little tiny, yeah, you can kind of see right there a little bit of, um, you know, waviness from wear. But again, uh, you know, I have been careful with these. I haven't worn them when it's going to be raining. I haven't worn them 
you know, in inclement weather. But, I mean, they're just holding up fantastically. And they're fully broken in, fully comfortable. When I got both of these, they're 10D, by the way. Uh, I did have a fair amount of heel slip, but I, I just trusted in the process, let the sole break in a little bit, get a little more flexible, and then the heel slip went away. So, big fan of that. And it's nice to have a little extra room in a loafer, I find. So, all right. Um, done with the shoes. So, the only boots I've really worn more than a few times over the last couple months, just because it's been warm, um, has been my Red Wing 1907s and the Thursday Vanguard. So, we'll look at these first. Uh, this is perhaps one of my favorite looking leathers. This is the copper rough and tough. I'm a very big fan of how this looks. Just all these dark patches, and then you got like, you know, some copper, even some amber, light brown where it scuffs, and then up here where, you know, it doesn't touch my jeans or it's not creasing as much, it's a little more uniform. Um, there's the toe box creasing. Not a ton, really, um, and these soles are holding up great. There's really hardly any wear on them at all. Uh, but yeah, huge fan of these. going to keep wearing them. Uh, as much as I can. I like them quite a bit. And then last but not least, Thursday Vanguard. Uh, as a reminder, I bought these because Thursday was donating profits to, to Tornado Relief for the communities where they actually make these in the USA. The Vanguard is their made in the USA boot, along with the logger. And this one's in Color 8 Chrome Excel leather from Horween Tannery. Um, so what I've learned about these wearing them is that for me at least, they're not as comfortable as the Captain. Now, the leather is a little bit thicker, and I did a, I did a whole video comparing the two, so if you want to see that, um, I'll try to figure out how to put a link right here uh, so you can click through on the video. But um, they are slightly better built, I think, objectively speaking, but in my experience, they are not as comfortable as the Captain. And I don't know if that's because the pour-on you know, um, insole is... From a different company it's made in the usa instead of in you know, wherever or if it's because it's slightly different stitching or you know the leather's slightly thicker i don't i don't know what it is because in general they they look almost identical but uh, yeah the captain's more comfortable on my foot so uh, i wouldn't say there's really much patina either on these in the way of you know the strict sense of patina you can see there's not there's not a lot of creasing either like i think that's not that's not too bad um, I try to put shoe trees in all my boots and shoes as much as I can, but sometimes I get lazy and I don't. So if I only warm for a couple hours, sometimes I don't. But there you have it. If you have any questions on any of these boots or shoes, uh, let me know. And as always, I'll put links in the description below if you want to check any of these out. Thanks very much. Have a good day.